And now to your top story. Have you practiced with your automated external defibrillator lately? Most people are unaware of what AEDs are, but Chetwin Fire and Rescue used all of their knowledge Monday night. That was to keep a man from losing his life. Fire Chief Leo Sabalski has more. Okay, my name is Leo Sabalski. I am the Fire Chief of the Chapman Fire Department. And on Monday night at about 9 p.m., we were called to a cardiac arrest uh, to assist the ambulance. We found a person there in full cardiac arrest and uh, BC Ambulance uh, applied an AED and between the firefighters and the paramedics, they administered CPR and used the AED to shock the person. After a considerable length of time of compressions, applying oxygen, the person was taken to the Chapman Hospital and he basically was declared a save. He was alive at the Chapman Hospital. And I'll show you the AED and the rest of the truck. We carry uh, AED in this truck, in the fire chief vehicle, and at the hall. And this is the AED in the rest of the truck. It is right beside the seat, and I will show it to you. And this is really important that people realize that the Chetwin area has AEDs, people train with it, and this is an incredible story because this person survived um, from a cardiac arrest. So here it is, I'll just open it up, and there it is. Call for help now. Remove, remove all clothing from patient's chest. And that's about it. It was a save. The chance of survival from an AED uh, improves if you get to the person and you apply the AED quickly and apply compressions. In this case, it was very, very fortunate the person survived. The department responded to a request to assist the ambulance at around 9 on Monday evening. At the residence, a 66-year-old man was found to experience a full cardiac arrest. Paramedics and fire workers worked on the patient for over 40 minutes using the AED, oxygen and CPR compressions. Once taken to the hospital, the patient was revived, had a pulse and spoke to family members. He was later sent to the Dawson Creek Hospital in the morning for treatment. The two ambulance paramedics on scene were Bill Hendley and Marnie Molendyke. Firefighters on scene were Dick Bremner, Aaron Dale, Maury Hohen, Tony Mackey, Lou Tut uh, Jay Tuton, Luke Stewart, and Leo Sabalski.